Howdy guys, it's Fridays with David on the Clouds Upper Clothes channel and this week our theme is gay PDA. So public displays of affection really get at me because I find it so cute when there is a couple out in public uh, as long as they're a really, really cute couple and they are, you know, showing some sign of affection. They're doing some PDA. And, you know, there's, you know, this couple over here and they're holding hands and just looking really cute at each other and stuff like that. And I'm over here. Oh, you go, Glen Coco. Oh, so, so cute. I can't even handle it shipping you so hard. Like, you don't even know. It's kind of crazy. Um, I ship a lot of couples. And, like, you know, the, it's just, there's, the couples are so cute. Like, I really, I really love PDA. I really do. And, you know, most of the time I'm more, I'm more cool about gay PDA than straight PDA. So gay PDA is very, very different than straight PDA. I mean, it's basically the same thing, except you have a lot to worry about. Because there could be people in public that could judge you for, you know, showing your affection with your significant other. There could be kids that ask their parents, like, Mommy, why is that boy holding the other boy's hand? Or whatever, and it could just be a really awkward scenario for anyone um, that isn't gay and... Um, in that case, I think it takes a lot of guts and a lot of balls to really show public displays of affection. Um, you know, for me, I really wasn't all that lucky to have um, boyfriends that were willing to show public displays of affection. When I dated Ryan and Alex, um, well, when I dated Alex, I was still closeted, so we didn't really show too much PDA. But when I dated Ryan, I was out of the closet and he was out of the closet. And for some odd reason, he did not want to hold my hand in public um, or, you know, walk around or anything because he was afraid of being called a faggot. And I don't understand why you'd be afraid of that if you are one and you're comfortable with yourself, but I'm not even going to worry about that. That's, I guess that's just his own problem that I really don't need to worry about. But um, I definitely would love to be able to show affection to my significant other in public. Because I, you know, this is someone that I really care for. And if, you know, two people are macking out over there and it's disgusting as, as all hell, then I should be able to at least hold my boyfriend's hand in public. Like, that, why is that such a big deal? Because it's unnatural, whatever. I don't care. I'm going to hold my boyfriend's hand in public. I'm, you're not seeing me sitting down making out with him on a park bench or something. We're not having sex in public. Like, we're just holding hands because, you know, we want people to see that we are a happy couple. We don't care what anyone else has to say. And we're proud to be dating each other. If you are one of those people that is really comfortable holding your boyfriend's hand in public, then props to you, um, or your girlfriend's hand or whatever, props to you because that takes uh, a lot of guts in today's world. And, uh... I ship you guys so hard, by the way. Songs of the week now. So, uh, Marina and the Diamonds album, Electra Heart, came out in the US the other day. And um, I want to recommend one of their tracks that is not on the US version of Electra Heart, and that is Lonely Hearts Club. I've been obsessed with that song for a few days now. Um, and so I really want you to listen to that song. I also want you to listen to the song Adorn by Miguel. Um, it's a very R&B sort of song, and I attended a hip-hop class this week, which was really intense, and so I learned a dance routine to this song, and so that's why I'm recommending that song. And that's it. So thanks for watching, guys. This ends another week of the uh, Closets Are For Clothes collaboration channel. Tune in next week for another exciting theme. I hope you guys have a great weekend, and I will see you later. Bye!